just getting to ODU. Um, I gotta go to J Lab after this, so I wanna end the whole like intern video series and kind of combine it with just regular physics stuff since it's starting to be that weird transition to back as a, just a regular physics student. So I have to go take a test in order to up the level of my tutoring stuff. So let's go do that. Last semester, I got straight A's except for I got an A minus in partial differential equations. So naturally, I made the dean's list, but there's like an award that you get at ODU if you make straight A's called the Perfect Scholar. And I didn't get that because of that one A minus, so I'm a little salty about that. I got some time to kill before I go to JLab to submit my papers, so you're gonna watch me edit a video. I gotta say, I'm gonna miss Jefferson Lab, but I'm also really excited to go back to school and know like my problems are gonna be able to be solved if I just look in the book for that class instead of being like, hmm, maybe I'll pull from all of these different books and find the answer. So I'm pretty excited to get back. All right, bye guys, see you later. Oh, that's right, there's no one here. It's summer. I guess I'm gonna have to make a run for it. Three, two, now. Channel loving he is. This is all I ever ask for from you, Candace. Is a little affection. It's not a mirror. <laughs> I think you look great. The Jefferson Lab chapter of my life is officially over. Um, just had my final talk with my advisor and he gave me tons of advice for the future. So no more internship, um, school starting up in less than a month, and I've got about a year until I have to figure out what I want to do with the rest of my life. So something cool happened yesterday. Well, something cool didn't happen, but the idea that something cool can happen happened yesterday. When I was having a final talk with my advisor, he was making final comments on my paper, and then at the end he said, yeah, so we're also going to be trying to get this published. That is a huge deal for a physics student, because when you want to apply to graduate schools, you're applying to a school with the idea that you're going to become a researcher. A school looking at your resume and seeing that you've already done research and that you published said research gives you a huge leg up, so I'm, I'm really hoping this can come through. I just started a goal of making new videos every week, and it's not like I don't have plenty to do. I mean, I'm going to be, I should be studying for the GRE, I should be working on my senior thesis, maybe preparing for next semester's classes. Like, the, the content is there to be filmed, I just need to actually sit down with a camera and record stuff. Yeah, cool. So I'm going to try to go run 10 miles now. So that 10 mile run I said I wanted to go on ended up turning into a 13 mile run. I did my first um, half marathon just on a normal Thursday. Mail's here, I think I know what it is. It's a tripod. I got a new tripod because this one is like really big and bulky and you kind of have to like plan out what you're gonna film before you film it if you want to use it. Uh, and then I got this one, which is a Gorillapod, which is like bendy and stuff. 
So you can also use it as like a selfie stick or like a bat. Cool. Time to do some last minute editing of my last intern video. This little tripod thing is great. And now I can set it down. All of these people here had the same idea that I did, where I wanted to take a time lapse of the sunset. How are you supposed to get physics done when you live on the beach? Little distractions like that are very needed, but now I need to get back to reviewing stuff for my senior thesis. You see, my advisor sent me a couple papers to review. Why is it so orange? One second. Yeah, that's better. I need to start reviewing, uh, well not reviewing, because I never learned it. I need to start learning atomic physics, because that's what my senior thesis is on. And my advisor for it sent me a couple papers to go over. Uh, over the, for the summer. So, that's what I'm gonna get into. Yeah, let's get to it. Yeah, it turns out he actually sent me four papers to review. I don't know where to start, really, because I've... We haven't formally talked about what the project is. He's just given me a bunch of different papers to review. Differential cross-sections for ionization of argon by one kilo electro electron volt positron and electron impact. Is but it's on. My senior thesis is on positron scattering, and that is literally all I know about my thesis right now. Before I get started on all of this heavy theoretical physics, I'm gonna need some coffee. What's funny is for me, this is gonna take like a couple hours, but for you, the work that's gonna go onto this page is gonna be covered instantly. Yeah, see, that wasn't so bad. Basically, what I've gathered so far about this project is, well, it's, you see, the thing about this project is, I have no idea still. <laughs> All I know is I had to look up a lot of terms in here. Like, I didn't know what a triple differential cross-section was. I'm also kind of limited on what I can do because I'm still waiting for my Griffith's quantum mechanics book to get in and then I'll be able to go deeper into my senior thesis because it's all atomic physics and yeah, so that would be really convenient to have right about now. If I don't get a whole lot more physics done in this video, I'm sorry, but the motivation's been kind of lacking because it's summer and my internship just ended and I'm in this weird period where I'm waiting for a book to come in, that way I can start studying quantum mechanics so that I can actually know what I'm reading when it comes to these papers that my professor is sending me. And I hate PDFs and online versions. I like to be I like to actually be able to hold the book and go through it and take notes. So this this video is probably gonna be like not a lot of percent physics, and I'm sorry.